Look like a squad and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about our hair or why our hair isn't growing. I have not just it down because I wanted to ensure that I tackled every point. Now if you notice the pic on the thumbnail, that is actually my sister-in-law's daughter. And she has the absolute longest hair and she has 4C hair. So we can dispel that myth that for well I think by now we know that all hair types can grow extremely long hair and she has 4C hair and her hair has grown. I remember about maybe about three years ago, four years ago, her hair was nowhere. I mean she never had like short, 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 short hair, but it was nowhere near the length that her hair is now. And then I considered my hair that I had cut and it was growing. And then I realized Ever so often I would have to trim my ends, I would have split ends, I would have fairy knots or like the little knots at the ends of your hair and I would always have to be clipping, 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 cutting off some inches so it was no matter about clipping but cutting my hair now and I would move from 10 inches to 8 inches, 10 inches to 9 inches, it would grow and I'll cut, it would grow and I would cut so I was never really retaining any length and then I looked at her hair and I'm like her hair is absolutely the longest it's really healthy it's thick and luscious I'm like you know what I'm going to make a video to help everybody out and to take my own advice on how we can grow our hair for the remainder of 2020 and for for 2021 so the first reason why our hair isn't growing as it should is simply that we are doing too much with our hair and i think that is the number one reason why our hair isn't growing especially as a youtuber a natural hair youtuber and you create content surrounding your hair you have to do a lot of videos a lot of washing well you don't have to do wash and goes but you have to do a lot of videos that may require wash day it may require you putting in a hairstyle and taking it out way sooner than you had anticipated because you have to now create another video so you have to take take those out put in another set and it's like so much manipulation that your hair doesn't really get the rest that it's supposed to get so it could grow we do too much too fast with our hair and i think that is so i'm hitting the main reason one time why our hair isn't growing we do too much with our hair not only youtubers but even everyday persons i mean youtubers are everyday persons but you understand what i am saying <laughs> we do too much with our hair we want slick back ponytails that create tension on our hair we might do that ever so often we um, put our hair in one and sometimes we do the same hairstyle that a lot of tension on our head causes our hair to break quite easily and th that's just the number one thing we're doing too much we need to find a regime stick to a regime and to simplify what we do to our hair so that's the number one reason why our hair isn't growing number two weather conditions now this is outside of our control in all honesty if you're from a tropical um, if you're in a tropical climate like I am in, then you don't really have this problem. But if you are from somewhere like North America, a colder region where you have summer, you have um, spring, you have winter, the colder months, based on what I have heard, it's really detrimental to your hair health. I have never experienced winter, so I can't say that this is first-hand knowledge. This is just basically what I have heard. But what I have heard is that it, it really damages your hair. So a lot of persons opt for putting in protective styles around at that time. So I recognize that around the winter time, your hair is more prone to breakage. It's more prone to being brittle. So around that time, if you are not protecting your hair, your hair is going to break off. You're not going to retain length and you're not necessarily going to see the long hair that you had anticipated. Number three, leaving our ends out whether we have it in a puff like i know our caribbean girls we love we love puffs from secondary school we have our hair in puff and it's just a simple hairstyle you don't want to comb your hair you woke up late you just brush up the edges of your hair and you leave the ends out and you carry it like that throughout the entire day for days now what's going to happen is that your hair is going to the natural elements the wind it is going to take all that moisture from your hair and your hair is going to be so matted so dry and then it's going to affect the ends of your hair and as your hair person said the ends of your hair it's the oldest part of your hair so it kind of needs the most love it needs moisture but when you have your hair in a puff and then the wind gets on to that you're literally not giving it you're giving the wind all the moisture and you're left with a dry head of hair which is 
really really detrimental to you because you're now going to experience probably breakage probably split ends so it is really important that we another point to moisturize our ends and keep our ends tucked away so let's kind of stay away from the little puffs and stay away from hairstyles that leave our ends out and then causes them to be prone to breakage number four lack of protective styles and i actually listed some protective styles that you can do everyone isn't into wigs everyone isn't into putting extensions in the hair so for those who are natural natural like they don't put anything in the hair you can actually put your hair in mini plaits or mini braids which means you take your own hair and you plait them or you braid them or you can do mini twists where you twist your actual hair or you can do cascado which americans call cane rose we in the caribbean call it cascado or you can do um yeah i think you americans call it cornrows cane rose cornrows i think you guys call it cornrows we call it cascado all right you could do um flat twist but do it not too big where you have to redo it before the end of the week do it small so that it could stay at least two weeks in your hair to a month and I personally believe keeping your hair in for a month and more, that's when you actually see the hair grow. That is when your hair thickens up. Anything that was, maybe if you had little, um, your edges weren't as full, leaving your hair for a month and more, I think that's when you really see the most progress. But we take out, including myself, take out protective styles too fast. Like after a week and some, I'm done. I'm over it and I want a new hairstyle. Your hair hasn't gotten enough rest to really grow and benefit from the protective style so i'm saying a month and more if you really want to see growth keep your hair in longer so lack of protective styles that's one of the reasons one of the many reasons why our hair isn't growing now protective styles outside of the natural natural protective styles we go to wigs and we also go to weaves we go to crochet and we go to braids and things of that sort now my favorite right now well before my favorite was wearing wigs right but i think right now is actually putting in braids the thing with wigs though a lot of persons do the um glue the lace to their hair and a lot of the times it takes out a lot of the a lot this happens to a lot of females youtubers um the everyday person it takes out the edges so i am not really going to promote sticking the wig on your head on this channel because i've seen that it has been it hasn't really done anything great for your hairline so you could put on a wig but it doesn't have to be a stick down you could have the elastic band to the back that tightens it or maybe use the comb somewhat but something that doesn't have that much tension on the hair and another thing with crochet i am not i think crochet actually bursts or break your hair and creates um, breakage that's what I believe so my safest bet is just to do braids like actual box braids or full ox like actually install the full ox I think that's my best bet right now also lack of taking multivitamins or hair pills now there is hair affinity there is hair skin and nails and there are other vitamins that are good for your hair also for your skin it benefits other parts of your body but it's really specifically designed for your hair it helps with the thickness the length and everything and your hair grows in other places too <laughs> however there are side effects where some most persons get breakouts so i think that was the number one con of the hair affinity your hair grows because i use it already but you do experience breakouts and if you're already acne prone i would suggest that you stay away from that hair skin and nails i don't think i experienced any um acne but i don't think i experienced any hair growth really from that either it did grow my nails like crazy though so to each his own because i've also heard persons use hair skin and nails and it made their hair i believe thick and longer so you do your research on your hair pills, do your research on multivitamins and see which one works best for you. Also, drink a lot of water. Healthy hair, I know it sounds cliche, but it's the truth. Healthy hair starts from the inside out. You have to eat healthier. So I would suggest eating a lot more vegetables, eating a lot more fruits and drinking a lot more water. Let's start with, I know the recommended amount is 8 glasses of water. Some persons have gone up to 10. But for those who don't drink that much water, we'll start off with 4 glasses of water a day. 
the next week increase it to five until you reach eight to ten glasses of water and it's also there is to make sure that the water is how do i explain this your body uses the water effectively there is actually a time like drinking water half an hour before you eat drinking water half an hour before you bathe you can just google it the best time to drink water and it would greatly uh, greatly it was like greatly it would greatly assist in the growth of your hair because not only is your hair going to flourish but your entire body as well i don't know what number we're on but anyway using the wrong products that's one of the reasons why our hair isn't growing using the wrong products and when i say products also tools as well some persons may be using um brushes on their hair that's too harsh some persons may be using just just tools like using heat on the hair every minute to blow dry if you blow dry any hair and i'm seeing this in the natural hair community where every minute they want to blow dry the hair the braid in the hair the blow drying the hair they're putting the hair up in a sleek ponytail the blow drying the hair the blow dry the hair and um heat to do every and every hairstyle like any hairstyle that they're going to do they're going to put heat on the hair and then they're going to flat iron the hair one curl the hair like I'm not really the biggest fan of heat but for those who are to each his own however I can tell you that almost every if not every youtuber that I've watched who uses straightening tools whether it's a flat iron um, if they're using a blow dryer they're using whatever heat anything that you're using they end up with heat damage and whether it's one month down the line, two months down the line, a year down the line, several years down the line, you would hear them come out and say that they have experienced heat damage and they have to cut the hair. Now, to me, that's a total waste of time. You've grown your hair, you have a natural hair YouTube um, channel, you grow your hair, and then you have to cut so much of it off because of the use of heat. So I would really, I do not promote the use of heat for whatever style. And I know here in the Caribbean, we do we go to braiders and they do our hair without our hair being um, stretched or blow dried. So I'm wondering why in North America, in some cases, that persons have to blow dry the hair before they get the hair braided. Like we braid hair, 4C hair, 3C hair, not any hair you bring, we, we're able to braid it and you don't have to do put any heat on your hair. So if you are going to grow your hair if your hair isn't growing and you want it to grow i would suggest that you stay away from heat all together and in terms of products i think this is where hair typing comes in i mean also hair density as well or porosity where certain products don't really do that much for your hair while others may some products may not moisturize your hair as much and i want to stress that oil is not a moisturizer oil is a sealant oil seals in the moisture that's in your hair so if you don't wet your hair you don't put in a leave-in conditioner you don't put in something that has in a lot of moisture and you just put oil on your dry hair there is nothing to seal in and your hair will stay unmoisturized so ensure that you include a lot of moisture in your hair whether through a leave-in conditioner uh hair mist uh um anything that you think is moisturizing just water and then you could seal with a hair butter a hair cream well not a cream a hair butter or an oil to seal in our grease to seal in the moisture because moisture helps the hair stay rejuvenated and healthy and it also would aid in health in the length and health of your hair also some of us don't use products that help our hair grow some persons do not need any help they cut the hair today by the next five months the hair has grown tremendously everybody's hair is not like this and we need a little help my hair needs some help so using oils like castor oil castor oil is really just my favorite oil using castor oil to grow and thicken your hair as well as using grease yes old-fashioned grease like dax grease helps your hair to thicken and it helps your hair to grow so let's include those in our regimes and sometimes kind of stay away from the creams because in all honesty a lot of these creams are very trying to our hair and they were not made for our hair type so let maybe a looser hair type so let's stick with oils and grease after wetting our hair or putting in a hair mist find a great moisturizer and then apply grease like dax grease dubro or oil to the scalp of your hair and to the ends the scalp 
because that's where the hair grows. Everything after that is just to retain the length. Okay? And also, I know the Shebe powder mixture, that also helps with length retention. It doesn't grow your hair because it was not made for your scalp. Things that grow your hair, it has to touch your scalp. So, for instance, oil has to touch your scalp. Grease has to touch your scalp. But anything that has in Shebe powder, I didn't know this before, but then I know someone told me about this after that Shebe powder is not supposed to touch your scalp. It actually could irritate your scalp and damage your scalp. So let's put the Shebe powder on the shaft of our hair, not touching the scalp or like the very, very root. Just put it on the shaft of your hair. And this helps with keeping the hair, preventing the hair from breaking, uh, making the hair stronger. And it also changes your curl pattern, makes your hair more manageable. I don't know if it permanently changes the curl pattern, but it makes your hair more manageable. It makes it softer. So that's another thing for length retention. So while the root is growing, you won't be losing any inches from the bottom. Scalp massages also help. Some persons may do this when they're washing their hair. They do scalp massages or they put oil on the scalp and massage the scalp maybe once or twice a week. I don't do it really, but it promotes the blood flow. It helps with circulation and then it helps with hair growth. And the last thing that I would say is, well, I actually had this point twice, so I guess I knew it was important. Stop manipulating and start protective styling. And for those in North America, you're in the colder month, you're coming on to the colder month, where well, you could find a great protective style. My number one protective style right now is Folox, because it literally tucks your hair away, and this style is so cute, it's so versatile, and your hair stays protected, and you're able to oil the scalp, grease the scalp, and keep the hair healthy. So for the rest of 2020, going on to 2021, our hair should be flourishing, looking beautiful, and we have no excuse. So why our hair isn't growing, I don't, I should not be having to make this video again, okay? This should be the first and last video that I make concerning this, and our hair should be flourishing from then on. Have a good day, guys, and God bless. Mwah.